What's going on YouTube? Chiasno right here. So in today's video I have great news for those of you waiting for a jailbreak on iOS 12. A new kernel exploit is about to be released and has been created by two security researchers in the community. The first one being of course Simon Ferrini and the next one being JM Doc, who has released write-ups for exploit in the past. So both of them are security researchers and they have tried to pretty much pawn the iOS 12 beta 12 and they managed to do so successfully. Simon Ferrini posted, quote, iOS 12 beta 12 pound, kernel memory read and write with J and Doc and this guy in here. So they did it and yes, they do have kernel memory read and write on the latest version of the iOS 12 beta. If you take a look in here on the Apple developer portal, if you do have an account, you can see that the iOS 12 beta 12 is in fact the latest version available of the iOS 12 beta. So they pretty much managed to pawn the latest version available and this of course gives high hopes for the jailbreak community. JM Doc also posted quote ATA soon and he is pretty much retweeting what Simon has said. So it's pretty much a hint to the fact that we may get a release for this exploit and they may not keep it for themselves which would definitely be great. So of course you're going to ask me why is this important? What is a kernel exploit? What is kernel memory read and write? Why should you care? Well those are very good questions. See in order to have a jailbreak that has CDM and you know has the ability to install tweaks and themes and so on and gives you write and read permissions on the root file system and so on everything you like on a jailbreak you need to have the ability to pawn the kernel or to hack the kernel and to trick it into running your own unsigned and arbitrary code. In order to do that, you need a vulnerability because of course there are security mechanisms in place that would prevent such things from happening. So what they did was to find a vulnerability through reverse engineering and of course they managed to exploit it in order to get kernel memory read and write, which means that they can pretty much do VM read and VM write and modify kernel memory in order to, you know, you know, write arbitrary code or read arbitrary code from the kernel address space, which means that they can modify the iOS kernel to do whatever they want it to do or to disable specific iOS security mechanisms that would prevent a jailbreak from happening. So this is pretty much the entire framework of a jailbreak. And if you remember, Yumang, one of the Electra team members, has also found a kernel vulnerability a few days ago and he also exploited it successfully and of course he announced it on Twitter. So for the moment we have two different iOS 12 exploits available for the iOS kernel. So we should be pretty good to go in terms of jailbreaking on the iOS 12. Now just imagine for a second a jailbreak on iOS 12. iOS 12 was built by Apple to pretty much bring back the stability and the performance of the iOS. iOS 11 was pretty much a flop. Most of the things didn't work initially and of course it had a lot of bugs. iOS 10 was definitely a good one and this is why iOS 12 is based as far as I know on the iOS 10 code base. So iOS 12 will definitely be a very stable iOS version version compared to the iOS 11 and of course it would be worth updating to it once a jailbreak is out. And as you can see a jailbreak might not take too much since we do have kernel exploits for the iOS 12 and this means that pretty much most of the important stuff for a jailbreak is already there. If you don't have a kernel exploit you cannot create a jailbreak but if you do have it it's quite trivial at that point. You just have to add the canonical patches which are not that hard if you already know what you're doing and of course you need a rootfs remount if the other one that we had on iOS 11 no longer works, which we do not know for the moment. Anyways, pretty good news for the iOS 12 jailbreak. We might get a jailbreak faster than for the iOS 11. Anyways, do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. I'm going to keep you updated with anything that's going on in the jailbreak community. I am Geosnow. Until the next time, peace out.